Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the Nimble Thimble, our tiny little mobile base capable of refining, gathering, and even getting some energy. And welcome to a bit of a weird bug. For some reason, I can't get this drill to fix itself. No matter where I put the repairable, no matter how I try and place this, it constantly flashes on and off saying it's damaged. Really minor bug, but really irritating at the same time. So today we have two goals, of course. We have the big yellow and we have crafty business. So hopefully we can get some stuff from the big yellow fellow and that will give us all the Geocorp stuff. And then we can also get the next set of crafting items. Now apparently... Oh, raiding party is actually right here. Well, I guess we may as well do that since it's actually on our way. Now one thing I can't wait to get... Oh, let's back off a little bit. One thing I can't wait to get is the Geocorp wheels, because right now, as much as I do love these wheels, we're really struggling to get up hills, because we are very heavy, since we are carrying all this trade stuff with us. Hello there, the healthy tech. There we go. See, other things are healing. Oh, no, apparently there is more to it than just you, which is a crying shame. Let's just put something down. Do I have any... Yep, just anchoring blocks. That's great. As soon as possible as well, I will be making some defense turrets, because I think that's going to be fantastic if we are going to remain in an area for a long time harvesting everything. And there we are. Into the black hole view. No, apparently you are now too close. My first tech. Is that a copy of my tech from earlier? It could be. It does look like it, based on the cab positioning. Oi, you! Got a little bit stuck there, which is annoying. And we get... Ooh. Is that one of the, ex the experimental wheels? No, it's the GSO bumper. You know, I've never used those properly. Okay, well, let's pop you into the black hole, and we'll do the same with all of you. Unless there's any of the pound cannons, in which case I want to use them right now. Doesn't seem like it, sadly. Well, whilst on the way, we may as well make a little bit of money as well. Lovely. We are baby capitalism. We're like a little startup company right now. Pew Phil here trying to get some revenge for detonating Dan. Phil was a brave soul, but that's where his beneficial traits kind of end. Pew Alex! All the friends of Dan are here today. Goodbye, sir. Someone's like murdering a huge friend group. Oh, well, this fellow's rather big, and if not mistaken, he is rather yellow. Oh, look at his mouth! Ho oh, ho! Over here! Big Pete! Of course you're called Big Pete. How you doing, Big Pete? My name is Big Pete, the most famous and hard-working miner. I couldn't read that. Well, why are, are you just lounging here? Shouldn't you be mining? Ah, I think I see where this is going. Yep, hard-working, fella. So, you look like you could do some good old-fashioned manual labor. Behold, for this is capitalist god. Ah. Uh... Deliver resource chunks. No, they're expensive resource chunks. I wasn't even paying attention. I am not a fan of this guy. Uh, would you like some super cheap wood? Yeah, eat this. Eat it. Why will you not do the eating? Here. Oh, because it's on the collector, isn't it? It needs to be in the thimble. Ah. <sighs> It's like reverse Santa as well with the ho-hos. Ho ho ho, I'm stealing your gifts, children. And where are my cookies? But in this case, cookies are very, very expensive, rare resources on an alien planet. You know, like the traditional Christmases of old. I have no idea where this pound cannon came from. I will accept this offering from the divines. Excellent. But yeah, need bigger wheels. Too many heavy things. Way too low as well on the ground. We've got no ground clearance. 
Yeah. Be careful if there's some pesticides on that. Om nom nom nom, yeah, we get it. You're eating it. Aren't you happy? Look at your happy little eyes. Okay, that's enough for now. Do I get the license? I do love his design. Don't like him as a person, though. Here's your reward, your very own license. So basically, he got me to do work for him for free and then just gave me a license. Things. Oh, I do like things. Okay, so we have the larger drill. Not a huge fan of that, honestly. And we, at least we do have the rugged wheels now. So we can probably get those from a lot of the stations. Actually, I should go to a trading station because I can probably get some Geocorp missions done. Which is definitely something I very much want right now. So you can go bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, is, there is there anything nearby? Yes, raiding party is right there. So we might as well do that. We're okay for power, but uh, better safe than sorry. Just a slight change on the back. We now have two of the solar panels. Since I was having a little bit of issue anchoring earlier... This way, we should always have at least one anchor point, or at least be a bit easier. Oh good, they're fighting each other. Blockbuster and numbers. Oh. And home. Home, you're drunk. Tech, you are home, go drunk. It took me that long to make that joke, I hope you appreciate it. Ooh, money. And we get another AI, which is okay. A node silo, which is cool. And then one of the anchory things. Okay, I can't wait until I have my own SCU. Because doing this every time is getting a little bit annoying. That popped way easier than I expected. And... It looks like you dropped almost everything. Don't have the cannons I want? Of course you don't. Got a few batteries, though. Come back here! Oh, that looked painful. <laughs> and... Goodbye. Novice Harvester. We need to cut down trees. Okay, well, nature, I'm somewhat sorry, but not really. And buried treasure, sure. Really need to do crafty business, although I'm actually tempted to remove it because it's so far away. I can probably get it again later and be closer to it, so... I think that's how it works, and if it's not, well, I've just really missed- There we go, I knew that's how it works. So we need to destroy ten trees, that's pretty easy. And I'll go towards crafty business while I'm doing that. Beep, beep, and- Oh, actually, no, before I go. A chance on some better wheels for me? No, of course not. This is why we need the fabricator. There he is in the background. And there we are, the trees are felled. And I get... Wheels! And what are you? Are you the steam generator? I can't remember. N no, you are the anchored furnace. That's interesting, actually. You are the resource radar. I don't know how you fully work. I remember trying you out before and not quite getting it. Okay, I'll have to check into you later. At least we have one of the larger anchors as well, so it'll be easier to start doing this in the future. There we are. Now, which wheels are better? The crushers or the first wheel we got from Geo? Okay, crusher wheel, sturdy wheel with, with um, gripping studs, and you... Higher capacity. I'm assuming both of them are higher capacity. I don't know which of you is better. Maybe a mix of them. I have found that just mixing them does tend to be better. Hello, hello. What have we got here then, mate? Well, for a start, we have a... Ooh, crafting base. Yes, thank you, fabricator. Gimme, 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 gimme. Probably going to skip a bit of this because it's going to take a while. I am an engineering genius. 
They are a ripoff, I agree with that. Okay, yep, this is definitely the crafting one. I mean, crafting base was a pretty good hint to that, but still. There's a charge up while I'm here. I should move. Like I was saying, charge up while I'm here. The fabricator, there we go. Now, here's the thing. I don't really want to attach this to me. That's going to be difficult to sort out. What I really... Oh, wait, no. The fabricator can make the, um... Oh, what's it called? The... Resource chunks? The little condensed resources as an actual item. Oh, but then you need the, the scrapper later, don't you, to actually get the resources back. I would like one of these, please. I mean, I wouldn't, but that's the one I need to make. Yeah, this might be a bit difficult to do. Whilst we're so small like this, can't really set it up on us. And to be fair, eventually I do want a static base. So maybe I'll have to make a base so I can simply warp in. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for the fabricator, sir. Now let me click on it. I want to see how to make the better wheels. These ones, the bumper wheels, require plumbia ingots and rubber bricks. That's not too expensive at all. How many do, are we going to want, though? At least four. I'm thinking one here, one here, one here, and one here. So, you know, or four, like a car or something. I'm going to go and grab those resources. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is going to need a refinery, isn't it, to actually do that, because it all attaches together. And the good thing is, I don't have a refinery, so I'm going to have to take off my own refinery, which is going to break stuff. Or just one thing. Well, that was best than expected. There we go. So now that should take out the plumbia. Yeah, then that can move out. Lovely. Jubbly. I'll leave this here for now. And I'll go and collect the stuff we need. The trees are definitely the easier part. Ooh! A Geocorp bot in the distance. Lovely. Let's try and take his legs. This is why we need new wheels. Hello there. Do you have legs? Where's your cab? Don't run! No! This is why I need your legs! You're faster than- Darn it! Don't make me cripple you! Just give me your legs! Ha! Healed that one! Where is his cab? Oh, it's right at the front, isn't it? Hmm. Should I try and go around? Nah. Destruction is always the way to victory. Lovely. Three of the wheels. In fact, that's enough that I don't even have to bother with making those other wheels. But I do kind of want to, though, because I've not actually used them before. Oops. Oh, that is so much better! Now, I probably can't anchor those since these are now too high, but that can be fixed easily. You're a big fella. I'm going to ignore you, actually, and continue my hunt for the elusive resources, even though they're like the cheapest resources in the game. Taking my chance, and you detonate. There we go. All it required was a bit of a distraction from this fellow. Oh, you're still alive. Just gonna take a few parts off you. Nothing major. There we go. Darn you, tree. And once again, this weapon not healing. That's so weird. Well, I'm going to assume that's definitely enough of the plumbia. If that's how you actually pronounce it, I'll have a quick look-see in a tic-tac. Okay, let's pop these down. So we can grab some more. There we go. Lovely. And we return home. Oh, I got a power gauge at some stage. Lovely. Click. I now see that I'm low on power. Fantastic. Let's return home and make some more of these wheels. I'm hoping I'll be wowed by them. I mean, it's meant to go through hills, so you never know. Maybe it's the best wheel I've ever used, and I've just not used it before. Or it's going to be pretty mediocre, and I'm going to go, eh. If you're going to interrupt me harvesting, then I'm going to harvest you. Basic rules of courtesy. Well, you've lost your head anyway, so... 
consider yourself harvested. And also a bit dead. I've just looked at how many of the resource chunks we have, and we are literally one off. Well, that and a load more. Oh, yeah. A load more sap. Also, I really should heal. Apparently, this guy has been stealing legs as well. And now all he is is legs. And now he's pretty much nothing. So, I am one wheel off, and I am one of the ore off. So, I need to go and get that. I can't wait until I have the droppers and the filters. Once I have those two, it's going to make all of this so much easier. Because just then as well, what was happening was, because I placed the refinery so close, it was also refining... Oh pretty much everything unless there was something being constructed. I don't really want that. What I think I'm going to do when I eventually make the base, because I don't think I really want a mobile fabricator, I want an actual base base. I'm going to have it so that... Why is there none of the ore I want? I'm going to have it so I'm going to have a huge storage of all the resources and it'll be all obvious and very on display. Not very efficient, but I think it'll be very pretty. You're very quick and you're using the wheel I want, so that's a good start. Oh, no, give me a wheel! You have a magnet, and that made everything worse. Well, now you're going to detonate. I hope you're proud of yourself. I'm not even picking up your corpse. Try two getting those wheels. Yep, those wheels are definitely a lot faster than me. Stay there. I'm going to slowly siphon them off you. Which is a weird term I'm using here for drilling your face off. Okay, that's good. Can you please go away? You are doing nothing but irritating me. Okay, now, if you stay there, the surgery will continue. I said the surgery will continue. You cannot run away from the surgeon's chair. Probably would have helped if I didn't break off my other drill earlier. There we go. I'll just pop them on me for a second so you can't steal them with your magnet again. And the surgery was a huge success. No way am I functioning. I am fully functioning right now. Well, we are faster. Hmm, maybe using a mix of these two might be better. I will find out very, very soon. Right now, though, I do sort of feel like an abomination, but I still want to complete this, because why not? Beep, beep, stuff. Now the wheel's in the centre, I'm happy to say at least they are the same height as the other wheels, which makes this a lot easier. Um, too much of the wooden sections, not enough of the sap. One, two, three, four, five. I think I already had one. Can't remember. Even if I didn't, it's not too much of a big deal. Mostly because it's right over there. Aha! Hello! I'll be accepting you. Thank you. And here is the delivery, as requested. By me, admittedly, but still. And then how many of those wheels will I have? Three, four. So I have four... So I could actually replace all of them with these right now. They seem to turn really well, but it could be the Geocorp wheels. It's hard to tell until they're the only ones I'm using. I swear, this is like one of the only wheel types I just haven't used properly before. Okay, so turning on the spot is fantastic. Turning when moving is also fantastic. And speed is... Very good, actually. Okay, so these are really nimble. So the nimble thimble actually makes sense again. Fantastic. Okay, you can just go away now. Let's um, send you back to the abyss. And let's resort this out. There's an enemy close by, isn't there? Hello. Oh, big little. I hit everywhere but the enemy then for so long. Okay, so what we want is the refinery back there in the center. Here, refinery, refinery. There we go. So after testing out these wheels a little bit more, so far, they are absolutely fantastic. They're really easy to use, they're quick enough, and they are very, very fast on turning if you're staying still or if you're moving. 
And I'm no longer getting stuck on absolutely everything, which is very, very nice indeed. So, new missions. Okay, yep, the new crafty business. Fantastic. Take the rebel station. Ooh, that might be absolutely fantastic, and I'll do that next before the crafty mic one. Mostly just for fun. Okay, you, you want me to destroy rocks. That's fine. I want to do take a rebel station, though. Let's be the Empire and destroy some rebels, shall we? Ah, one of the drills. Thank you. I'll have you. Thank you. And you can go back in the middle, even though apparently you just don't heal. Ooh, I could get a buzzsaw. No, I can't afford it yet. Or I could use the plasma cutter. These are all things I need to do soon. Oh, now you let me buy one of the bumper wheels. Of course, now you do. It's so nice to use something like this after I'm so used to things like the Nomad. Which, of course, is the vehicle which ended the last season. I just cannot be bothered to stop every time I kill one of these small enemies. Is that on a hill? Oh, there's a bit of a problem. It balances so much. Uh, yeah, the problem is we have these so low at the back. Might need to do something about that in the future, but right now you can always heal. Hello there. I'm actually going to wait until daytime because I want some more power. Because right now I'm almost completely out of battery power and I don't really want to die. I just got all this stuff. Um, so I didn't actually do anything. And the guy who was fighting over there literally just won the battle for me. And apparently now I have a base somewhere up there. I think I can see it. Is that its bubble like right there? I think it is. How on earth am I getting there? I'm going to have to use the build beam, aren't I? Because I cannot see these wheels getting up that hill. Also, there's an enemy up there right now. That's just fantastic. Go! Come on! You can do it! I know there's probably a way around the corner there, but this is technically the fastest, sure. Feel a little bit cheaty doing this, but not really. Because I really want that base. That base probably contains a lot of stuff for our future bases. Nope, there we go. Lock onto that one. Thank you. Oh, well, you just stole all my stuff. Thanks for that. So you have a refinery. You have that... That's a silly way of doing things. Reverse it, so at least you go past that. Yeah, there's a very large chance, no matter how you place this, it's going to miss the refinery. This way is better, since then only these two miss the refinery on the way. But yeah. But of course, what we really want for this is we want all of these. We want the solar panel. We want the refinery. Yet yeah, there's loads of stuff there, but apparently enemies are indeed too close. Oh... Now, you did win us that entire mission, but I'm afraid you are stopping progress. Lovely. Clear out rocks, crash site. Uh, let's do crash site, and then maybe call it a day. Do crash site, and I'll make sure to harvest some rocks on the way. This is a really good little harvester. I like my first craft. I wonder if these little wheels will stop the back section being damaged all the time. Would be nice. Of course, eventually I could just add more of these wheels as well, which would help. There we go. Novice harvester completed. And we get... We get... Ooh, now that's definitely one of the experimental wheels. That's the trailer wheel, which, is, which I don't think is actually powered. So, nothing too fancy there. A few of the little brackets, which I do like using, and one more of the lasers, but... Oh, actually, no, is that one of the arced ones? Stop. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's one of the angled ones, so never mind. Actually, it did give me something I really wanted. Now, would that be able to fit here? Not very cutely, admittedly, but... Yeah, I was hoping I could face it more inwards, so I guess to do that, we'd have to... Have something like this. Other way. That looks kind of cool. Kind of like a claw. So maybe something like that in the future will be a build. This definitely isn't the final build we're going to have. In fact, it's just the first because it's nice and quick to get around with. As soon as we have more of the permanent base stuff, we can go with a slower, more powerful set of builds. A 
little bit of damage there, but not as bad as before. Oh, hello. Maybe a bit far back there. There was me hoping they'd fight each other. So, I don't know if I just kept that last bit of footage in, but the game just crashed on me. So, not the most pleasant of things. And once again, the drill will not heal. Still no idea what's going on there. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead, place it on the floor, and replace it with a regular drill. No, I'm not, because I don't have one. Well then, we get to keep our damage snoot after all. Now, hopefully we won't crash this time. Huh, what's that noise? It's a trap? Well, that's a surprise. That hasn't happened before. What? Whoa, we just got a lot of stuff. Once again, a trailer. Oh, is this the one which moves? Yes, the articulated one. Excellent. Okay, I'm sliding because I'm currently sitting on a corpse. So rude of the corpse. In fact, it'd be easier right now to go over the Geocorp and place down one of its anchors because this thing's huge. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff. We can easily start doing a bit of a build now. If we so desire. Though I am actually really happy with this GSO one for once. Not using any of the Geocorp... Well, anything yet. We're still using GSO weapons, GSO movement, armor, etc. And I'm happy with that. Maybe I'll stick with a more GSO-centric build this time. I mean, like, almost every time I end up going Hawkeye or Geocorp, since they're my favourite. So maybe this time we should try GSO and Venture. Behold the Monument of Corpse. Oh, Blood God, this is a gift for you. Do I care about all these little guns? Not until I have a scrapper, no, so goodbye. Though apparently there's an enemy nearby still. You keep on triggering the music, so let's have a quick look, see what you even are. Starter Collector. No, that's me. Well, did any of your drills survive? Uh, doesn't... Oh, no, yes, you definitely had some drills surviving. Excellent. Which means goodbye to this one, which will never heal. And hello to you. Oh, and hello to another Thimble Collector. Lovely, I'll just pop you there for now. Oh, bong. And can we get out? Yes, we can. Okay, so with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I think we've got a lot of progress done. We've done our first fabrication. We have the fabricator, more importantly. We found out that these wheels are absolutely fantastic to use. Just a load of fun. And we've killed our fair share of pretty much every type of tech. And we're about to hit level 3 with GSO, which we'll definitely get when we have crafty business sorted, which we'll do at the start of the next video. So if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.